let's make us some sprinkles. First, we need some royal icing. So my favorite recipe is here. This is Sugar Dough's Quick Dry Royal Icing. So go ahead and freeze the frame, take a little snapshot of the ingredients, and now the directions. Trust me, it's really easy to make. Then we're gonna color. So first I'm gonna use some new colors I just got from Sugar Arts Master Elite Collection. This is Turquoise Waters. And then Sugar Rose. And then I'm using my American Gel Colors in Dusty Rose and Royal Purple. Once you've got those mixed, you're gonna put those on a little bit of parchment and using an offset spatula, we're just gonna scrape those suckers out and get us just a nice flat, uh, about a quarter thickness of royal icing. You don't wanna water this down, you definitely want it on the thicker side. And once we got all those scraped down and nice and flat, we are going to place those in our oven, which does have a dehydrate option. If you don't have a dehydrate option, I suggest putting it somewhere nice and warm and dry. And you might need to let it sit overnight or a full 24 hours, but in this time frame, I took about an hour to dehydrate. Now we've taken it out, it's nice and crunchy, it's gonna crumble apart. So if you don't have a dehydrate option, again, just check and see how crunchy your icing is getting, and then you'll be able to de determine how much longer you need it to set up. And then we're just going to chop a broccoli and dice up our icing. Please be careful here, guys. I cannot help you if you cut yourself. So we wanna get it up in nice little crumbles and put it through a fine mesh sieve. Once we get it through this sieve, we don't need it a very fine. We need just like a regular standard sieve here. I'm not using my smallest one that I have. And you careful with that knife. Place it in and we're gonna take the back of a spatula and just kind of gently smoosh it through, trying to get a little bit of a uniform shape happening here. I am keeping half of it powdery and half of it chunky. Go ahead and do this for all of your colors. I'm separating it into two separate piles here. And then we're just gonna smoosh these guys together and you're gonna see these colors come to life once they touch each other. How beautiful, custom colors. And we're gonna mix the more powdered ones which can make for some really beautiful decorations as well separate those into some little cute containers. I love my little weck glass jars with my little wooden lids. And here you go, you have your own custom color sprinkles. How frickin' cool.